What's up guys, Warlog here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another Apex Legends video for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to loot areas or POIs faster. Let's do it. If you guys are new here and you wanna learn how to improve your gameplay, get better aim and other Apex Legends tips, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. All right, guys, now when it comes to looting POIs, I think a lot of players get this wrong. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to give you a lot of tips on how to loot areas faster, especially in ranked, so you can rotate early and get the maximum or the best position on, on teams that are rotating, or maybe they're just low on loot. So the biggest thing is having a location that you like to land at, but that will be another video. But when it comes to looting an area, especially if you're in a team, now, if you are solo queuing, this isn't really going to help you a whole lot. You can try your best to implement this, or if your teammates have mics, hopefully you can communicate this to them, but... Otherwise, this is meant for if you're three stacking, you got a team and you're able to communicate with them. So when it comes to landing at your location, tip number one, have a spot that you like to go to every single time. If you're going to play ranked, you're going to be landing at the same location all the time because then that way you can understand rotations and learn how to rotate early and fast. But when you're landing at a location, you're going to want to pick one particular building or one small area that has a lot of loot bins, anything you want to land at this same spot every single time a couple of things with this is because you're going to know what kind of loot spawns there you're going to know how to rotate and fight out of these areas so always pick the same spot that you're going to land at and pick the same location within it to land in tip number two when you are looting these areas you need to trust your teammates and tell them what you need hey i'm looking for an r99 i'm looking for an eva 8 oh i need this attachment that attachment so when they're looting their area of a location they'll be able to ping these things for you Everybody on your team has certain things they like to use, certain guns, certain attachments, anything like that. You need to communicate that almost every time it's your teammates unknowingly, like don't even have to hear it from you for you to ping those items to help your teammates out. So let your teammates know what you need so that way they can ping it. Tip number three is when you're landing at the location, you're only looting a small section. So here in the States, we like to split one person goes to the middle one person goes to each other side and you just loot around until you connect and then we move out now things that the players do to get this wrong is they'll just loot an entire section that a teammate just looted okay the key here is is you want to loot the area to the best of your ability cover every single building bin anything like that and then rotate out okay you're gonna have to trust your teammates to be able to loot those areas and then you just move you don't need to double or triple overlap an area just to loot it that means you're going to be spending way too much time in that area and taking way too long to rotate so pick a spot to land loot those areas let your teammates know and then cover a certain section of the location and then rotate out tip number four after you guys have finished looting a section which or a location which would have happened relatively quick. Now you're going to rotate to your next POI or the next spot that you typically like to rotate to. For us, it's this construction area. That's a high-low construction is what we like to call it. And it has all these loot bins, a couple buildings. So after you loot, you need to have somebody or yourself monitor the zone and figure out the best way to rotate and then go to those next locations following the same thing. You're going to loot an area. If you're all by yourself, you can loot it all to yourself. But if your team is rolling with you like they should be, you should only be picking a few uh, buildings or bins just to cover the area as fast as possible and then move out. Okay, you don't need to double and triple overlap each other just to loot things. I can't stress this enough, and I think that's the biggest problem when it comes to clearing areas. And that's why so many teams are rotating late or they get caught in the crossfire because they're taking way too long at locations just to loot. Okay, Apex Legends is a fast game and you need to adapt to it and learn how to clear these areas much faster. So again, pick an area to rotate to, do the same thing. Let players know what you find, shields, cells, heals, gun attachments, new guns if they're still looking for stuff. That way you can clear these areas much faster and then rotate out. Apex is all about positioning, so you're going to need to be able to clear these areas fast. Tip number five and the final tip here. I'm going to pause the video and pull a screenshot from our initial drop location. And I just want to kind of break down everything we just went over to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about so you have a visual. So this is right as we're about to drop into estates. So here's how we like to drop, okay, step by step. Okay, my teammate Soul likes to go to the center building. 
I like to land at either of the opposite buildings on either side, okay? They're the two biggest buildings in adjacent to the center building. So if I land at the close one like I do in this gameplay, my teammate lands at the other one, okay? So once we've, so there we go. We have, we picked our location, which is the States. We've picked exactly where we're going to land at inside the States every single time. And then we're going to rotate. So what we do is, is when I land here, I like to clear this building and then I rotate left. So then my teammate on the far side is rotating to my right, okay? And then Soul, who is landing in the middle, is going to clear everything in the middle. And then he's going to rotate out to either side just to help clear this area, okay? Now, this happens very quickly, and we're pretty much done looting this location within the first couple minutes. Now, if we were to all land at the middle, clear the middle, then we all go to the next building and then try to clear that one, and then we're all rotating the same exact way and not splitting up on a location, then we're gonna take so much longer to loot this area. It's gonna cause teams to rotate in. We may not get all the best loot. We may miss something because we're taking so long. So you don't wanna do this. So again, we split our landing spots. We've both rotated around this area, and then we rotate to our next location, which is the construction high-low area. And I headed there first with my teammates coming behind me now a couple things to notice here yeah. this doesn't always happen when teams land with you now that's a whole different topic is when teams land with yeah, you you're going to have a have to have a different strategy on how to do things so when a team lands with us we double stack the middle and we have one person go to one of the adjacent buildings whichever side the team the enemy team that's going to this location with us isn't going so if a team is going to land where i landed then me and soul would double stack middle and then our third teammate would stay on the other side and then we would just try to loot as much as possible before engaging that team now with this it follows the same guidelines i've given you throughout the entire video guys you pick a location to land you pick with spots within that location to land at every single time and then you pick your ro your looting path within the location to help clear it as fast as possible while doing this, make sure to communicate with your teammates and let them know exactly what you need or exactly what they're looking for and ping these items so these players can get it. Oftentimes, if you got big enough backpacks, then you can carry these attachments or items to your teammates to help out to finish the locating the, or looting the location faster. And then we're on to rotating to the next position, which makes it the same exact way through the entire thing. But I wanted to give you guys this visual to help kind of break down exactly how we rotate or how we loot these areas and help you loot these POIs, points of interest, these locations much, much faster so that way you can gain the edge or the advantage on enemy teams within Apex Legends. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like as it does help me out. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe for more Apex Legends tips videos. And for me, Warlug, as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.